Welcome everyone to your chakra reading for April. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, these are pre-shuffled. Let's see what's going on with you. I am doing these after the uh, full moon on purpose because it was causing such an up it's kind of an uproar in energy, so I kind of wanted to see how that was going to play out um, before doing the chakras due to all of the energies that have been going on um, with that solar eclipse plus the Mercury retrograde, right? So let's see what's going on over here. We do have the solitude card coming out. This is definitely talking about that taking that time out. Um, let's see what's coming out after that. We have communication talking about that throat chakra spiritual awakening transforming ooh, and having the answers lie within very nice okay so seeing where this is going right now we're talking about getting to that spiritual awakening and getting towards those answers and having that solitude card is a very beautiful card right there having those Anytime you see blacks and browns um, within these cards, it's talking about that earth star chakra. This is where the elements are open to be receptive towards all love, healing, and nurturing. Um, it's also talking about the deep sense of self-love and commitment and contentment. It's also the place where it pulls in all those beautiful energies from the earth and allows you to have that safe haven um, to live a life of love, joy, and abundance. So this is actually anchoring off of your root, char, uh, root chakra, or some call it base chakra, um, at the bottom between your your hips and your sp uh, your uh, your spine, the bottom of your spine. Um, so yeah, just knowing that that's where it's going is so beautiful. Um, so let's see what's going on here. We have the communication coming in which is talking about, yes, yes, having that communication with that place because the solitude is the same as the hermit. So this is saying, yes, this is the place where you want to conserve your energy, go deep within yourself to find the answers and seek out those answers that are necessarily found in the what and the outer world, right? So these are the places where you're going to get deep within your subconscious, your super conscious to find the answers. This is time for you to step back and withdraw from the outside commotion. The solitude card is a reminder of how important it is to pause, still the mind, meditate, reflect, reevaluate, and discover the wisdom within yourself. Therefore, you can find the answers. And then I love that because it's talking about having the answers within. So which is also a beautiful um earth star chakra card um i love this because you can even bring someone else along your uh, journey over here to uh, find these answers um but having this communication is talking about having that beautiful communication with you and your higher self to find these answers anytime we need to find the answers right it brings in this beautiful spiritual awakening from the um the crown chakra the crown chakra is located at the crown of your head right that's telling you i know the answers being in the knowing having things come come at you a lot of times we can see these things happening if you've ever you know uh go to write down things or you have something come to mind you're like wow where'd that come from that's coming from your higher self i always say do the test if you're doing something you know take the pros and cons write them down on a piece of paper um you know about each individual you know whatever it is you're looking at um, to see which is better than the other. A lot of times you'll even, you know, all of a sudden you'll be writing something, you'll be like, whoa, where'd that come from, right? Um, anytime you have that happen, make sure you put some kind of star next to it or it's hard or something, because that's definitely coming from your higher self. That's not your conscious mind, right? Because your conscious mind already knows things. This is something that's like, whoa, I didn't know that, or where did that come from? It's just shocking, right, that you would even come, like, where the hell did that come from? Um, you always want to go back to that one because that's the answer. That's what's coming from the higher self. Um, and this is going to transform everything around you in the way you're thinking and the way that you're dealing with things, right? As you have these beautiful answers coming, coming towards you, 
Um, the spiritual awakening card over here is talking about, right, it's talking about you are being asked to let go of anything that is stopping you from experiencing this deep connection at this present time. It's time to dis guard any old beliefs and bring in new ones that support your growth. Well, the growth is the transformation and you see they're going this way towards each other. This is going to bring in a powerful process. Um, this is also making sure that you are nurturing this process by meditating, attending a weekly spiritual group or reading books that can assist you in this powerful process. Your vibration and energy is moving to a more refined state of being and you are currently receiving divine messages and healing as you deepen your spiritual awareness. This can mark a great time of change where what you knew to be true is re reconstructed and a whole new understanding is birthed within you. All good things take time, so be patient with this awakening and trust the process. This card can also indicate the question you are asking or requiring clarity on has a big connection to your spiritual growth and the answers lie within this new spiritual awakening. And that's exactly what it is, right? Because every time we have this new aha, it's going to change a lot of things around, right? It's going to change a lot of things because you're going to say, wow, I only thought of it as being this way, but now I'm realizing there's something new, something more creative. This is where we come up with those creative ideas to change things around, go after new things, um, not just feeling like it only has to be this way because it's bubbled, right? This is where the spirit is saying, ah, it doesn't have to be just that way. <laughs> There's other ways of doing things, more productive ways of doing things, more success lies this way. Or you might feel stuck in something and not know how to do something. And then all of a sudden it comes to you and that'll be allow, you know, allow you to uh, see it, like I said, from a different angle, new perspective of things. Um, with the answers within over here, it says create a space each day where you can take an emotional inventory. Find a place to sit quietly and relax your mind. Ask yourself questions. Take note of any new insights that emerge during this process. That's why I said if you find something that's new and makes you go, aha, write it down right away and put a heart or something next to it. Because you know that that wasn't just something you knew, right? That came from the subconscious of maybe hearing somebody else say it or from your higher conscious being called your super conscious that comes straight from the divine itself. Examining yourself and your role in the situation will help you become more self-aware. Soul searching and listening to your trusted friends can also lead you to be the to your best answers. So sometimes even listening to our friends, that's why I said sometimes doing it in a group is also fun because uh, you know, maybe they have something that comes to mind and they're like, I don't know how I thought about that. Okay, let's write it down, right? Um, but remember, you're never alone in the process. You always have your higher self there to help you out, whether you can have a friend with you or not. Okay, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Spiritual awareness, awakening, well, awareness as well. Communication. And whatever you guys are doing, you're seeking answers right now, and they're definitely going to start coming towards you. Um, head over heart. Um, you think things through from all perspectives. And that's really what the uh, King of Swords over here is really talking about. He's talking about right now, I just want you to kind of look at things from this different um, this different area. Become your own sage in its own way, right? Um, this is because you'll be finding advice from your higher self that's going to put you in some kind of maybe leadership role, um, taking on some kind of authority within your own mindset literally right and of course it's bringing in that mental clarity because the king of swords is very clear about what's going on within situations anything that's challenging you at this time um, go ahead and be prepared to uh, focus on what it is that's challenging you so that you can figure this out through the clarity so it's pretty much saying you have the clarity to the challenge right and you will overpower it um, with the emperor over here because nothing could be so much that you couldn't figure it out, right? Nothing could be so much that you couldn't figure it out, okay? Unless you're me and it's algebra. Okay, that is never going to happen, higher yourself or not, okay? It's more like my, I almost some, like, feel like my, you know, my guardian angel will be like, yeah, that's not meant for you. <laughs> Good luck figuring that out. 
can barely even figure it out on the calculator. <sighs> like, how do you use the calculator? Okay, guys, it's so funny. So funny, but the majority, and if you can't figure out everything, right, you're just going to get tidbits. You know, that's why you can also go towards friends and have other, you know, have other people look at the situation, right? And have them look at it from a different place and then write down what they're experiencing as well, or what their answers might be, then putting them together for that situation. Um, this is, yes, this is saying, because yes, you don't want to be restless and burned out within this situation. You have to be able to keep your mind, you know, still and meditate and keep yourself very relaxed, right? But remember that you are strong and full of energy. Keep your, your energy as high as possible so that way you can maintain, right, the answers, the positivity, and also the belief, and that's crazy, too, because with the transformation over there, it's it's literally a card that says if you want to transform and grow and manifest things, you need to believe that this is possible to even start. If you're not going to have a belief system of even believing this could even happen, then you're just wasting your time, right? And then sometimes you get people who are skeptical, and then it happens, and it's like they're still very skeptical. It's like, but you already have the answer. You just got it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, those are my favorite people to play with, right? It's like, yeah, okay, let's try that out. Oh, my God, it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. So you have to be a very, so there's going to be a lot of self-discipline, but we see that also with the King of Swords and the Emperor. Very self-disciplined, right? Anytime you have a king or an emperor, there's going to be a lot of self-discipline. Um, make sure that you also, they're once again saying you have the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is in your favor. You are turning the wheel you're helping that wheel turn every day, right? The wheel just doesn't turn 100% on its own. You are helping that, that wheel turn. So everything you're having is going to end up this way, right? That's why it has ups and downs. Um, but yes, this is definitely something that you're going to feel very passionate about, okay? You want to make sure that how I celebrate the love of my life today and the love of your life today, of course, is just understanding and having passion and patience, towards your higher self and towards the process. Okay, so right now is a beautiful time of transformation and growth. And anytime we go through transformation, we go through growth. So your focus, focus on your goals and go ahead and bring in that great success, right? This is you becoming the page of pinnacles over here as you're offering yourself this understanding that you know what, I understand why this is, you know, what's going on within my, my situation. Okay. You can make new choices and new decisions, right, with self-confidence, leaving things behind that no longer serve you with the spiritual awakening. Definitely that goes there because the spiritual awakening says let go of things that no longer serve you and let's look at things so we can find the answers for other things. If these things are not working for you, let them go so we can do something different. We can discover new ways of doing something or, you know, we can re enrise something right? Reevaluate the situation. But no matter what's going on, we're definitely going to be receiving new downloads and new information, new messages coming your way. That's going to be very exciting to get you to your freedom. It's going to make you feel very free. As you start realizing that you're clicking into something and having those, aha, my gosh, I don't know what that is. It's going to make you very excited because it's going to be coming from a place that you know was not directly from your mind, so you know it had to have come from somewhere else, so you were definitely going to want to jump on that and try this out. This is why we discover new things. We have new ideas, new discoveries. That's going to be a part of that throw shocker really coming through, right? Making new goals or fixing those goals. A lot of times it's not even making new goals. It could just be I'm having a problem over here and I really need to figure out how to work this out. Well, best way to do it is powerful three within yourself, mind, body, soul. Really, you know, fixating yourself within the teamwork within your higher self. Knowing that, you know what, nothing, there's no such thing as I cannot have this or do that or do this. Something has to give. I have to figure it out. Okay. And it is. It's all a mystery, isn't it? <laughs> it's all a mystery. And it's breaking, it's breaking the mystery. Breaking the mystery. You might even start, you know, 
um, tapping into those things and you might have a dream. Wake up, write that dream down. There might be something significant within that dream. Oh, definitely dreaming, looking at her sleeping, meditating. So within meditation and dreaming, you're going to be finding these things. Just sitting still and listening. We sit still, we can hear the heavens above, hear our higher selves, hear the divine speaking to us. Okay. Wow. So whatever is going on this at this time, it's definitely talking about the great awakening and where you really need to trust within yourself. There's going to be a lot of trust of yourself as well. The King of Swords really trusts himself. So to get this stuff done, control, love it. So this card here is saying there's going to be, have to be a lot of control, right? You are in control. So overall card is control number one. Yeah, the beginning. The beginning of something new. The control card says you can change your life in an instant. It is so important to realize this. It is easy to fall into the trap of feeling like a victim or of circumstances, whether it's within your family history or anything else that leaves you feeling helpless. Take responsibility for yourself and your feelings. You decide how you feel and decide how you want to be in charge. Educate yourself about what is going on with you, your emotions, or your health. As you go through life, your body changes and your thinking does too. There's that transformation coming in. Feel good about being your own advocate. Realizing you are in control will be rejuvenating and beneficial to your well-being. Okay. So, and this is definitely just saying, you know what, you can gain more control, okay, and definitely having, being on the right direction and learning to be in control by listening to your higher self because you are the key, you have the keys within yourself. Or you can also say you are the lock and you have the key within yourself to unlock all of those answers that you are looking for, right? Even if it's, like I said, even if it's not the whole answer, you're going to get the messages that you need to drive forward to find the rest right? The rest of everything. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love.